In this video, we'll review how to use windshield rotors for large capacity centrifuges correctly. First, you'll want to ensure you only use properly installed rotors. Do not use rotors, buckets, or components to show any signs of damage to the protective coating, corrosion, or cracks. Contact customer service for further advice or inspections. Never overload the rotor and always balance samples. Use only Thermo Fisher scientific approved rotors and components for your centrifuge. Exceptions to this rule are commercially available glass or plastic centrifuge labware, provided it has been designed to fit the rotor or the adapter cavities and is approved for the speed or relative centrifugal force value of the rotor. Make sure the rotor is locked properly into place before operating the centrifuge and be sure all rotor parts are clean, dry, and have no nicks and scratches. Always use a rotor body, a windshield bowl, and a windshield lid with the same article number. The windshield bowl and rotor body of the Hemaflex 6 6x1000 mil swinging bucket rotor are permanently connected and cannot be disassembled. Next, we'll cover how to properly install the rotor. First, turn on the centrifuge and press the open door button on the touch screen. If necessary, remove dust and foreign objects from the chamber. Wipe the drive shaft with a clean cloth and clean the threads of the drive shaft to prevent possible damage to the rotor or centrifuge. Apply one drop of grease to the drive shaft. Wipe the rotor hub from the bottom side of the rotor with a clean cloth. Holding the windshield knob with one hand and the windshield rim with the other hand, align the square symbol on the windshield knob with the square end of the drive shaft and put the windshield on the drive shaft carefully. It may be easier to handle some windshield bowls with two people. Next, identify the circular marking on the rotor body. The hole for the locating pin of the windshield bowl is on the bottom side of the rotor body below the circular marking. Hold the rotor body over the drive shaft and align the circular marking with the locating pin on the windshield bowl. Put the rotor body carefully onto the drive shaft. Turn the rotor body against the windshield bowl until the locating pin engages into the rotor body. If the rotor body is not engaged correctly, you will not be able to turn the rotor locking screw into the drive shaft. Repeat these steps until the rotor body is in position. Next, put the rotor locking tool into the opening of the rotor locking screw. Turn the rotor locking tool clockwise to tighten the screw. To prevent possible damage to the rotor or centrifuge, apply grease to the rotor trunnion bolts and the two bolt seats on the sides of each bucket. This must be done each time you install buckets. One small drop of grease is necessary for each rotor trunnion bolt. Next, install an empty bucket in each position. Buckets with the same weight class should be in opposing positions. Make sure each bucket swings out freely on its rotor trunnion bolts. Always use a full complement of buckets, even if some stay empty. Load the buckets evenly and balance opposite loads. Incorrect loading can lead to damage. Always load the rotor symmetrically to avoid imbalance, bumpy spinning, and damage. Finally, put the windshield lid into the holder at the inner side of the centrifuge door. This must be done to open and close the windshield correctly. The thermoscientific auto lid function automatically opens and closes the windshield when the centrifuge door opens and closes. Please note that each rotor is designed to run with its maximum load at maximum speed. The safety system of the centrifuge requires that the rotor is not overloaded. Next, we'll cover how to remove the rotor. Please note, two people are required to remove the rotor because of its weight. First, turn on the centrifuge and press the open door button on the touch screen. The centrifuge door will open and lift the windshield lid automatically. Remove the windshield lid from the holder inside the centrifuge door and unload and remove the buckets. 
use the rotor locking tool to disengage the rotor locking screw. Next, remove the rotor from the drive shaft, holding the windshield knob with one hand and the rim of the windshield bowl with the other hand. Lift the windshield bowl straight up from the drive shaft. It may be easier to handle some windshield bowls with two people. To avoid damaging or deforming the windshield, never put down the rotor windshield assembly on its side. That concludes this proper usage video for windshield rotors. Visit thermofisher.com forward slash centrifuges to learn more.